Hey guys, it's Andrew with AndroidCentral.com and now that we've had a lot of time to use Google Now, um, we've all gotten comfortable with using voice actions and uh, pulling up different things, you know, making calls, sending text messages, the easy stuff. But uh, Google continues to improve the number of voice actions that are available and so we wanted to run through a few of the um, more obscure but extremely useful ones. So the first is uh, directions. Now of course you can always say navigate to whatever but um, you could also do uh, specifically get biking or walking directions. So for example, if I wanted um, walking directions to the Space Needle, I would just say walking directions to the Space Needle. And then it'll start to give you exact directions. Uh, and of course you can hit cancel or hit navigate. Same works for biking or driving. Um, if you don't give any specific, it will just uh, tell or it'll send you with your default um, transportation method that you've set in Google Maps. Uh, the next one is uh, reminders, and now especially that they have uh, geofencing included in uh, Android with the new Google Play services, it's really useful. Uh, you can say something uh, like to take out the trash. Remind me to take out the trash at 3 p.m. And it'll set a reminder to take out the trash at 3 p.m. And of course you can modify it before it gets set if you would like as well. You can also make a loco uh, location based uh, reminder. So if you need to get Advil the next time you're at Target. Remind me to get Advil the next time I'm at Target. Yeah, see. That's a little bit off because we're a little far away from the microphone, but you can get the idea. Um, you can, so then the next time that it sees that you're near a target based on GPS uh, geolocation, it'll uh, remind you, pop up the little reminder. So it'll just kind of sit in the background and wait. Um, of course, you can ask any kind of googly question, uh, asking how many uh, you know millimeters are in a foot or uh, something like that. Um, how many US dollars in 500 British pounds? And of course, on things like that where they can give you a voice response, Google Now will always give you the voice response as well, which is nice. You can also do that with the new nutrition info that uh, Google does. You could say how many calories are in a pound of potatoes or something like that, and it'll uh, give you that nutrition info as well. Um, Google has recently added uh, play music and play movies support as well, so you can just say something like play the Rolling Stones and you'll have the option to play the Rolling Stones. Interestingly, you can also hit the little arrow there and you can choose um, Pandora, TuneIn Radio, any music app that you have installed that'll plug in and play music, you can choose that right there. It's not just Google Play. Uh, additionally, the last one that we wanted to talk about here is alarms. Of course, you can um, set an alarm at any time by just saying, set an alarm for 9 a.m. tomorrow and you'll just get an alarm, it'll set in your regular alarm clock app, and then uh, you can manage the uh, repeating and all of that kind of alarms, but for the basic ones, it's really useful. It's very similar to the reminders. And actually, uh, one more that we've just discovered as well is uh, meetings. Now, the syntax for this one's a little kludgy, but um, you can set up a meeting at any time by saying, Schedule a meeting for 9 a.m. tomorrow morning with Alex Doby. And it'll set the alarm just like that. So hopefully with these new uh, Google Now voice functions, you'll uh, start using Google Now a little bit more and get more uh, out of it in your day-to-day -day life. Thanks for taking a look, guys.